Yo, what up? This is Entendre. I'm gonna turn this sound. Yep. It's a recording of my voice into this sound. <laughs> So I've got a brand new instance of Serum. And I'm just gonna drag this sound of my voice right here onto the constant frame size import. So now it's created a wavetable of that. And I'm gonna use the LFO to control that. So I'm gonna drag this over here and pull this out. I'm going to slow it down to half a bar. And let's hear what that sounds like. Alright, so I'm going to click this pencil tool to go into edit mode. And let's take a look here. Alright. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do a, a morph spectral. Well, actually, no. First, I'm going to crossfade the edges at grid size. And then I'm going to do a morph spectral zero fundamental phrase or phase. And then I'm going to process and normalize on each. And let's hear what that sounds like. All right. So now I'm going to turn on the second oscillator here. I'm going to grab the analog basic shapes, just a basic sine wave, and I'm going to grab FM from B and turn the volume down here, and then crank this up a little bit. And then I try a couple octaves lower. See, and then I turn on the sub as well and go direct out and switch it to this this pattern here. I'm gonna drag this down another octave. I'm gonna turn on the filter and go ahead and choose the uh, format two under miscellaneous. I'm gonna drag this LFO over to the cutoff. I'm gonna turn the resonance up about to there. turn up the unison to three and turn the detune down a bit and the balance bring down a bit. Just play with that to taste. I'm going to drag the LFO over to the FM here as well. Changes the range and positioning. So I have a little baseline I patterned or uh, programmed here, a little bass pattern. So I'm going to turn on mono and legato and always here, turn up the portamento a bit. That'll just keep everything mono and put some little bends between the notes and let's press play. Yeah. 
So I'm also going to go in here and see what this sounds like if I run this formula here called, let's see, it's under singles, and it's called squareify. So it just makes it a little more hollow. Let's see what that sounds like. All right, that's pretty cool. And then another thing you can do is put some kind of automation on the rate here. So you can either use like another LFO or you can use this uh, on note random. There's different algorithms for that. So let's try one of those. Okay, so that's way too fast, but we can go in here in the matrix editor, turn that speed right down and we can also start it off slower here. We can play with this the bend of the LFO here too, which is nice. Try different waveforms here. put on some effects too. So let's hear what that sounds like with a beat. So that's all we're going to cover today. Hope you got something out of that. And until next time, I'm Antandra.